Hi everybody, I'm Dave Giltner with Turning Science. I help scientists and engineers design and build rewarding careers in industry, or as I like to say, turning science into things people need. Today I want to talk about the difference between a CV, or a curriculum vitae, and a resume. I hear a lot of people mix these two terms up, and it's really important you keep it straight, especially if you are looking for a job in industry. So I want to talk about today specifically about three differences. First difference, a CV is used in academia. It's for getting a job uh, as a postdoc or ultimately as a professor. A resume is what you want for a job in industry, in the private sector. If you talk about your CV when applying for a job in industry, people are going to think you're probably an academic type. Maybe you really haven't researched this world you're moving into. Maybe you really aren't ready, and that's going to be an easy way to throw your a resume or a CV, whichever you give them, out. In industry, it's a resume. It's the only thing people will be looking for. Second major difference. A CV is very long, many pages, and has everything that you've ever uh, done <laughs> that is relevant to your work experience. It's all about showing expertise, so you have everything that you've ever done. A resume is kept short and to the point. Uh, I don't think a resume should ever be more than two pages. You will see some people make uh, their resume three, four pages because they want to put more on there. I disagree. Two pages is fine. I've read a lot of resumes, uh, hiring a lot of people. I don't want to read more than two pages. It needs to be focused. The reason for that is the third key point. These two really have different functions. It's not simply that the documents are written differently. There's a reason. They have different functions. In academia, it's really all about building an expertise over a long career. And the way you show that is to list every accomplishment you've ever done, every paper you've published, every uh, uh, presentation you've given, any project you've worked on. All of that gets, gets listed in your CV, and it's okay for it to be long. <laughs> in general, the longer, uh, the better. On a resume, you're answering a very different question. When somebody hires you for an industry position, they don't really care what you've done they want to know what can you do for them going forward. Resumes should be targeted to the job you're applying for. Not a list of everything you've done like a CV, but what are some problems you've solved, there's some things you've handled that apply directly to the job you're applying here that show you can help us out. That's the big difference. If you can't answer that in two pages, then <laughs> you know, you've, you've probably included some things in there that are not necessary. So. Those are the three big differences. A CV is for academia. It's very long and includes everything you've ever done, and it is intended to show expertise. A resume, on the other hand, is what you use in industry. It's short, no more than two pages, and it is focused on the specific opportunity you were looking at. I hope that's helpful, and thank you for watching. Let's get out there and turn science into things people need.